dead cat time. Right, hopefully I shouldn't get unrequired, unrequired, uninvited noises popping with the dead cats on. Although it doesn't seem to work so well now that I've got the case on the phone. If you've no idea what I'm talking about, I might put a link in the video description. Anyway, hi guys. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, a little bit of a sidetrack. Forget the fact there's a boat just there and radio control gear. I'm doing something completely different that requires a little tea light or an LED light. I've got quite a few of them. This is a Halloween one that flickers yellow. This is supposed to be a Christmassy one that again flickers yellow. It's supposed to look like a candle flickering, isn't it? Well, I need one of these for a little project. So I bought a cheap pack of four of them, four for a pound in Poundland. And the first one I opened didn't work. No big deal, and I wouldn't normally bother making a video about it, but I thought, yeah, I might as well. Took it apart. Replaced the battery because that was my first thought. It was usually the battery that was faulty and that made no difference. So I took the LED out and it doesn't work. And, you know, they're only cheap, but I don't think I've ever had one with a failing LED in before. You know, they're usually pretty reliable from that point of view. So it's just occurred to me I could do a little video on replacing the LED. I happen to have a pack of LEDs here. So rather than having a flickering yellow one, we could have a different colour. I do have some that step through the different colours. But for this purpose, it's going to go inside a little nightlight thing. So... A pink, a red one would come out pink, yellow would want to come out yellow, green, green, blue, blue. But I think I might just use a plain white one. If I can get it out. So, let's check. Okay, it works. So it's not the battery. Now the way these work, uh, Nearly lost that bit. All they do is the one leg comes straight through to touch the battery through the hole there. So that touches the bottom of the battery, which happens to be the negative. The other leg comes up the side and very simply the on off switch just pushes and just push that through there, pushes the leg now, let's do that so you can actually see what I'm talking about. Leg comes up through, there's a tiny little hole in that bit of plastic. And when you push it on, it pushes that leg so it touches the side of the battery. So it turns it on. So, if we just take all that off again. Positive leg is the long leg. So the negative leg... Is the one that's going to go up through that hole, if I can get it up through that hole. And the positive leg is the one that's going to go through that hole. But they bend them a little bit to make them fit better than just pushing them like that. I'll bring it up to the camera so you can see what I'm talking about in a second. I'll just get it. I should probably have bent it first, but I was just trying to demonstrate. All right, it's as simple as that. So one leg you have to bend over a bit. So it's going to make tuck. Contact, in fact, probably goes the other way, come to think of it. That 
way. Right, so the light's on. When you push that out the way, it should move away from it. It's as simple as that, it's just bending the leg. So that probably wants to come over a little bit. I expect they pre-bend these before they put them in. Probably got a little jig that makes them all exactly the right shape. Push that up in there. There's actually a little tongue there and a groove for it to go in to make sure you get it the right way round. And somewhere there, yeah, there's the There's a little screw in there as well. But it's as simple as that, it's just bending the legs on the LED to make them actually touch the battery. So that'll do for the little project I've got. Because I'd rather have a white one because it's got to shine through some 3D printing to light it up. So a plain white one would be better than one of those flickering yellow ones. So that's quite convenient that that one was dead. Job done. Just for the record, I found I've got another one here, which is a little bit more upmarket. It's got a proper on off switch. And it runs off three of those little uh, button cells. So it's actually got four and a half volts there. And then it's got a resistor to reduce the voltage. And if we switch this one on, it's one of those ones that does the color change. Just thought I'd show that to show that there are different ones. In fact, this one is very slightly different to this one, but they're basically the same. Can I get that out easily? It's just a this one uses a metal spring to make contact with the side of the battery. Same thing though, one leg goes down and makes contact with the top of the battery, the other leg comes over here and then they use that metal spring to make contact with the edge of the battery. So they're all similar but maybe not identical. Oh, and that little bit clips in on the top. Thanks for watching. There's always more information down in the video description and if you like this video you might like this one up here and you might like to have a look at my channel over here see what else I do thank you for watching